Hello all, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how we can trigger an event on a DOM element. The trigger command triggers an event on a DOM element. And let's first take a look at the syntaxes and some notes. And then we will come back to the website and also write the code for it. The few syntaxes with trigger command is we use it with the element, then dot trigger. Then we provide the event name. And we will see what event name and everything is. The second one is trigger with event name and position. The third one is trigger with event name and options. The fourth one is trigger with event name and XY coordinates. Then event name, position and options, like pretty much all the permutations and combinations of these three, right? And then trigger with event name, XY and options. And the options are pretty much the same that we have seen in all of our lectures. More specifically, I'll refer to the click lecture because that's where we learned about all the options. There I list out the most used or the most common options that we'll be using throughout. Okay, so these are the three ones and obviously other options. We can just quickly take a look at the trigger syntax. Now, what are the some most common event examples? Let me bring this up a little here then we will talk about when and when not to use trigger command okay so the most common examples are mouse over mouse down mouse up click which is actually not common but we can still perform click using trigger okay now the thing is cypress does not have a built-in function for mouse over okay or mouse down and mouse up so what happens is trigger command comes in handy when we want to mouse over an element Mouse down and mouse up are a bit rare or pretty much limited in use for any web application. But mouse over is pretty common. We mouse over an element, a pop-up might show up, a tooltip might show up. Mouse over is the most common use for the trigger command. Since we listed out options and everything, let me also put what X and Y literally means. We do understand these are X and Y coordinates. But to put it in context, X is the distance in pixels from elements left side to trigger the event. It is from the left side towards right. That's why it's the X coordinate. Y is the distance in pixels from elements top to the bottom to trigger the event. So that's why it is the Y axis. Okay. Y coordinate. Now we have seen the syntax. Let's go to the websites to see like what we can practice. So here on the practice website, we have an element called mouse over. When I mouse over on this one, a small menu shows up with two options, stop and reload. Top takes me to the top of the page. Reload is just going to reload the page. Okay. So we can practice on this one and try to see what Cypress can do for us. Now on amazon.com, one of the element, this one, which says sign in accounts and list, it is a mouse over. If I mouse over, on this element, it shows this whole big list, even if I'm not signed in, okay? So I've tried to take on some like majorly used websites and try to show like what industry is doing, okay? If we go to eBay, this my eBay, this element also shows me a pop-up when I mouse over on this element, okay? And Flipkart, login also shows something, more button also shows something. So there are quite a few elements which shows the pop-up on mouse over now things may be different in implementations right if i mouse over or click on this one it still shows me the pop-up right see so clicking also shows mouse over also shows if i click on login it just presents me a new wizard so i can log in but mouse over shows me different options now same with ebay mouse over shows me all these options but if i click on this element it just goes to a completely different page and Amazon, if I click on this one, again, it takes me to login. Otherwise, it shows me the different menu options. So it is a different implementation. All right. We have to first understand the implementation of our website, then only try to automate it. Now, mouse over can be implemented in two different ways. And when I say this, I'm talking about the application development, not from the automation side, nothing that we have done here. Okay. So the first way is to use CSS. And the second way is to use JavaScript events. Here comes the limitation of Cypress. If the mouse over is implemented using CSS by the application developers, 
then Cypress is gonna have issues and mouse over may not work using Cypress. If the mouse over is implemented using JavaScript events, then it'll work. We will see both the examples. Let's quickly jump on the code and take a look at it. Under E2E folder, which was previously known as integrations folder, under our element interactions folder, I created a demo class, named it as trigger demo.cy.js. Now with Cypress 12, the new syntax is to use .cy.js instead of spec.js, okay? What are we doing here? We're just visiting the website. Then the first thing we're gonna see here is we can trigger the focus and we can also click, right? So we talked about mouse over, we talked about mouse up, mouse down, but we can also trigger the focus, which means simply go to the element, bring the element into focus, okay? This is also something that we can do. It is pretty much the same as mouse over, but not exactly because it only brings the focus on the element, may not actually perform the mouse action to actually hover the mouse on the element, okay? Now I have taken both the examples here, like 20 X axis, 40 Y axis, and then also use the option. So what we have done here is in this one, we have taken a look at trigger event name and then X and Y and then options. We have taken account everything in this example. So what am I doing here? I'm just trying to find the height text box on the web page, on the practice page and then trigger the focus event and then just forcing it to be true. And the second line is gonna actually trigger the click event on that, forcing it again to true. So basically it's just gonna click the high text box. Now let's open up the website and here is the element. So let's inspect it and we should be able to see high text box is the ID for the button hide and it should just hide the text box, okay? So let's quickly go back to the code, bring up our test runner, npx cypress open. Completely different look here for the new test runner in Cypress 12. I'm gonna click on E2E testing. We're not doing component testing at this point. Let's click on this one, choose a browser. I'm gonna choose Chrome and I'm gonna click on start E2E testing in Chrome. Again, a new look here, it shows specs here different UI, so I'm just gonna minimize all the other folders and keep the element interactions open. Now select the trigger demo file. It's gonna open our Cypress browser. So let's take a look at here, and this one, the text box is hidden now, okay? And on the left side, we can take a look at it. At the bottom, we get the element, then we trigger the focus, so it brings the element into focus. And you can see, because we started with some coordinates, 20 comma 40. If you see the red dot, it's not in the center of the element. It is 20 pixels from the left, 40 pixels from the top. And then again, second line, we again find the element, then we trigger a click event here. Pretty much same 20 comma 40, you can try different coordinates. But again, we are using the trigger command to click the element and it's working fine, right? If we just select this row, before shows the text box, if I click on after, the text box is hidden because the click event happened and it has hidden the text box, okay? Now let's go back to the code and come to our mouse over example. We need to go to the practice website and find this element. So mouse over, it has an ID called mouse over and I'm gonna go back to the code. Let's do cy.get, find the element and then trigger the event and the event that I want to trigger is mouse over. So it's not hover, it's over in the event name. If you see the ID, that's my website ID, right? Mouse over. So don't get confused in these two words because it has H in that, okay? Now let me comment out these two lines and then let's save it. Go to our Cypress test runner browser the test is completed, mouse over element is on the top. And if we look at the left side, this line, get mouse over, found the element, trigger mouse over. It brought the mouse right to the center of the element. But boom, wow, we did not see the popped up elements, right? If I go here, and if I mouse over on the element manually, I see the two elements show up. But Cypress did not perform well, right? That's what I was talking about. 
this is actually the first case. The mouse over on this website is implemented using the CSS way and Cypress just doesn't do well with it. Now it doesn't mean that we are left with no options. I mean Cypress did not open the pop-up and we can't see the two elements stop and reload. So if our test case says hey I want to open the pop-up and then click on the top how do I do it like Cypress doesn't let me do it. Now what we can do is we can still go ahead and say cy.get and then find the element locator for the top. Actually I have the locator I'll again show you once I type it. This is the locator it is going to find the element. Let's go to the web application on right here. Let me bring here. Let me do command F paste it here and and it shows me one of one matching node and it actually finds the element right. It's right inside the mouse over element the top and reload. Okay. So what I can do is I can go back to my code and then I can try to click it. I'm going to show you both the options like what's going to happen. So let's see if I try to click it. What's going to happen. Let's go to the Cypress test runner. Now it's trying to click it on the left and it's going to fail. So what happened is it says that this element is not visible because its parent element has a CSS property display as none. Okay. Let's come here. The parent element is the div. This actually has a property which is display as none and we can verify everything. Just come here on the styles. I have selected this element mouse over count and this class display as none. That's why Cypress is not working. And even the click failed. Now again you're going to ask me hey this click is failing. What do I do man? How do I automate my test case? What we can do is let me copy this line and comment it because I don't want you guys to lose this line and then inside click I'm going to say force equals to true. So we can still use the force option. We can use the force option as true. Save the file and now try to run the command. And there you will notice that the practice page came on top, right? What happened here? Mouse over. Obviously that didn't work. But it did find the element which says stop. And then the click command used by force option, okay? All right, so let's go back here. Now we saw that even if the menu doesn't show up, we can still work around through our automation. Now let's take a look at some other websites. We're going to take a look at Amazon for mouse over. Inspect this element. Okay, this a tag, it has an ID called nav link account list. So we can simply copy the ID in this case, come back to our code, comment out these lines, comment out this line comment out this line as well because we don't want to open any other website while we're working with Amazon. It's going to create some origin issue. Now we're going to say cy.get id and then trigger mouse over. Save the file. Go to our test runner. There you go. Boom. Do you see the menu opened up? Now let's go here. Take a look at the steps. Visit amazon.com. Then so many requests. Right here. Get the element. Mouse over. So this trigger mouse over actually worked. Now let's click on this one. Before is this. After it should have actually shown me the menu because it worked. Uh, looks like a Cypress thing. This before and after should work in a way where before doesn't show me the menu but after shows me the menu. Okay. That's okay. We, we saw it. It was working and we can again run the test if you want to really again make sure and see it did work. So it opened the menu and mouse over is working in case of Amazon. Now let's quickly go to eBay because I want to like show you multiple things and there are small differences, right? So make sure we understand the concept. Now let's inspect this element. So this li, so this is a, a tag and the whole element is the li. It has an ID called ghebmy. I'm just going to copy this one, cy.get. All right, so we have the command. Let's save the file, go to test runner. Oh, and the goodness here is that I did not uncomment the eBay.com line. So come back here and boom. So eBay.com worked, it found the element, it did the trigger mouse over, but nothing open, right? So why I wanted to show you this is that just because Amazon is a popular website doesn't mean it's going to have 
the mouse over implemented with JavaScript. Even popular websites like eBay might have it with CSS and Cypress didn't work with it. Again, what we have to do is we have to probably try clicking the element or we have to try just doing the mouse over and still finding the other elements and click on them, okay? Now let's quickly take a look at Flipkart and I'm gonna find this more element. So let's try with this class, come to the code base Command these lines and command this one. Now we have the command ready. Let's save the file. Go to the test runner. It's going to try to open flipkart.com. And there you go. The more options mouse over showed the menu. We can look at the left side, the website visit, get, found the element, trigger, it opened the menu. So if you come to before and after, Hey, this one works as well, right? The before one doesn't show the menu. If I click after, it shows the more options menu. There you go. So we have looked at all the different types of mouse over when we have seen like how we can work around if mouse over doesn't work in Cypress and why it works, why it doesn't work, in which case it works, in which case it doesn't work, right? These two options. Now, one very important thing. When do we want to use the trigger command? So even Cypress suggests that use them only for things which are not available in Cypress. Things like this mouse over, mouse down, mouse up, and things like that. Don't use trigger command for clicking an element. Just use the dot click method, okay? So even though trigger command is an action command, it says, and it follows all the rules of actionability. And you can just go ahead and check what are those rules. All these commands check for actionability. And actionability means it'll actually check for all these things before it performs an action. It'll make sure that the element is in view, it'll make sure the element is not hidden, not disabled, and so many things, right? Which is a good thing. We're, we're good with trigger command. But what's the difference between triggering an event and using the Cypress command? That's where they mention that both types will first verify element actionability, which is good but only the true action command will implement all of the default actions of the browser and additionally perform low level actions to fulfill what's defined in the spec. That's why they say if there is a true action command available, which means dot click, right? Then just use dot click. Focus, then just use focus. Don't use trigger to focus. Don't use trigger to click, okay? Until or unless you see your click and your focus is not working, don't try trigger, okay? Use trigger command only for mouse over, mouse up, mouse down, these kind of actions, okay? Even if you take a look at the examples they've mentioned, they've shown mouse over, mouse down, these kind of actions, all right? So that's about it. I'm sure you might have uh, learned a lot in this one. Please practice a lot as much as possible. Let me know if you have any questions. If you learned something new, please like the video and share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you can get all the useful content that we create. And in the comments below, please let us know what topic you would like us to make the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.